Now, there are various precautions that you should take as a catfish farmer. And these precautions will help prevent mortality at every stage of your catfish production. And one of it is what the use of what salt, right? Salt is a very, very good medication when it comes to what preventing catfish mortality okay and in this video i'm going to be highlighting how you can use salt and the different methods of application of salt when it comes to your catfish farming production so if you love to learn all this make sure you stick to the very end hey guys it's shikemi or lavisa the farm lady and you're welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video if you're here to smash on that subscribe button make sure you do that now turn on your post notification bell and drop a comment below also do not forget to like this video now back to the topic we're going to be talking about how we can use salt in our catfish farming production okay now i'm going to be splitting it into two we have the salt bath and what the salt dip okay they are very similar the only difference is the mode of application and the you know measurement of salt to water okay now first off i'm going to start with what salt dip now salt dip is usually done before what stocking before stocking salt dip is done before stocking now take for example you buy your fish or your juvenile from a hatchery right it is very important you carry out salt dip or you run a dip for them before stocking the fish in your pond now what will this do this will help what kill any form of bacteria they might be coming with from the farm you bought them from okay now i'm going to be showing you how to carry out this salt dip and the measurement of salt to water so for your salt dip i'll usually say use what 100 grams of salt to what 50 liters of what water 100 grams of salt to what 50 liters of water so you're going to have to dissolve what this quantity of salt inside this what volume of water and in order to measure it you have to what use your sensitive scale those of you that do not have sensitive scale go and get it you're going to get it for less than eight thousand okay get the sensitive scale and use it towards measure your salt so i'm going to be showing that to you so you can you know see how it is done in actual sense okay so let's get to it now let's start with the salt dip remember i said you're going to need 100 grams of salt to 50 liters of water so what you're going to do first is to turn on your scale like so and then it's on then you place your container on it immediately you do this the scale is going to give you the weight of the container so in order to eliminate this you have to press the button here that says star all right and that takes it to zero as you can see so we're going to be measuring what 100 grams of salt here i have this salt and we're going to measure okay 100 grams of salt to 50 liters of water okay we are getting there just a little more okay that is a lot so i'm going to take out a little so we can get on there now it is important you have all these measuring tools in order to ensure that you get the right measurement and also one of the um important materials one of the important things you're also going to be needing is a calibrated bowl right there are some bowls that comes what's calibrated okay so let me show you the one I use here. I have this bowl here. It is calibrated. If you look into it, you're going to see some marks in there. Okay. So you can see 
35 liters 40 45 50 so we're going to be putting our water up to this level for what our salt dip remember he said that we are using what 100 grams of salt to 50 liters of water so if you do not have a calibrated bowl make sure you get what get one this is going to be very helpful when it comes to measuring your water or certain things you need to do in your farm okay so we're going to fill this up with water now I'm smiling at him in the blue shirt and so this is what 50 liters of water okay now what we're going to do is to dissolve our salt in this this is 100 grams of salt to 50 liters of water okay so i'm going to dissolve this and you know use my hand to mix okay make sure you the salt is dissolved properly also you can add the salt first before putting your water so that it speeds up the process of the salt dissolving okay but if you don't take time so this is our salt deep water we are going to be one dipping our fish into this mixture this is a saline solution okay now after preparing your salt solution next thing you have to do is to drain out what the water in which your fish came with okay so for example you bought your fish from a hatchery you are supposed to what drain out the water the fish came with before you want to dip into the solution so we are going to do that so for example if this is the water your fish came with all you need to do is to what drain out this water okay so we are going to drain it out I have my sieve here, okay? So you drain it out. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so you drain it out and you what deep into your saline solution so you are dipping okay now you leave this for about two to three minutes one minute at least and three minutes at most right so you make sure that you are what fully submerged you make so you make sure they are fully covered in this saline solution Now, after this, you proceed to stop your fish. When you want to stop your fish, you lower your basket gently into the water. Don't just pour them into the water, okay? Gently into the water, like so. Alright? And then you allow them to swim out. As you can see, they are coming out what? gently. Swim out. Don't rush them. Okay? And that is how you do it. That is how you do it. Okay? Can you see how easy that was? Very easy. And then they are, you know, okay, they are stabilized here. Are you seeing that? That is exactly how you do it. Very easy, very straight to the point. Okay? And they immediately what settle in and get what used to what this environment now we've talked about salt dip when to do it how to do it you've seen how to do it now we're going to move on to what salt bath now salt bath is usually done after stocking and it is a very good what prophylactic medication when i say prophylactic medication it is what preventive medication to prevent against to prevent what against bacteria prevent against what disease occurrence okay so as the name implies salt baths you're preparing a bath how many of us have you know this bath stove right so it's a bath right you are putting water filling water in it and you're soaking yourself in it and enjoying it so the same thing happens when it comes to what salt baths but in this case 
your fish are in the pond you drain out the dirty water i'm going to be showing that to you drain out the dirty water fill up with fresh water and what you apply what the salt or saline mixture into the water okay for the measurement for salt bath you're going to be using what one kg salt right to what 1000 liters of water okay one kg salt to 1000 liters of water remember 1000 grams makes what one kg okay so this is what the measurement this is the measurement for salt dip as well now the duration the timing okay for your salt dip you can leave it for a minimum of one minute and maximum of what three minutes okay that is the duration why for your salt but you can leave it what for a minimum of what one hour and a maximum of what three hours okay so this is what this is the timing i use this is the duration that you should what use or adopt so one hour to three hours is okay for your salt bath and what one minute to three minutes it's okay what for your salt dip it is very simple very very straightforward right and this simple you know practice can prevent a whole lot of you know unforeseen and unwanted occurrence in your catfish farm so i expect everybody to adopt this okay so i'm going to be showing you how to do the salt bath as well so that you can also what follow suit so let us go so now we are going to talk about the salt bath now the first thing you expected to do is to drain out the dirty water in your pond okay drain it out first because in order to run a salt bath you need to use what clean fresh water so that is the very first step now also you have to bear in mind the volume of water you want to use for your salt bath so here i have a 1000 liters tank that can take what 1000 liters of water right that means what i have to work with is 1000 liters and below right nothing more than 1000 liters so for my salt bath today i want to use what 500 liters of water which is going to be what half of this tank okay i do not want to use the full tank right now remember while we're talking about the quantity of salt to water for the salt but i said you're going to need what one kg of salt to 1000 liters of water so assuming i'm going to use the whole you know tank size and put water up to the brim that means i need to what use one kg of salt for the salt batch right but because i said i wanted to use half which is 500 liters that means a salt quantity will also be slashed into two right and that means i'm going to be using what half kg or 500 grams of salt to what 500 liters of water okay so this pond is what we're going to be using so when you want to do your salt bath the first thing to do is to drain out your water first and then top it up so we're going to go ahead and do that now so now that we are done with draining the water i have already filled this up to 500 liters right so i have 500 liters of water here remember my fish are inside this pond the fish are what the living creatures we want to do the salt bath for not for ourselves okay so the fish are in here i've changed the water i've put in fresh water to what half of this which is 500 liters that means we are going to be needing what 500 grams of salt now here with me i have salt right you can get this one if you do not have you know a sensitive scale to measure right this is just to show you that it's very easy to calculate distance so this salt is 250 grams right 250 grams each and i have what two of it and this makes up what 500 grams right which is going to be okay for my salt bath all right so i'm going to show you close up grams i don't know if you can see so 250 grams plus 250 grams that makes it what 500 grams okay now in order to apply the salt we have to dissolve this in water 
so in here i have you know water just little quantity and i am going to be dissolving this salt in this water so let me do that quickly maybe you think salt is not too much if you're scared no don't be scared this is the required what quantity of salt to water so currently i'm dissolving it and once i'm done we are going to sprinkle this into our pond right so that is how it is done i have fully dissolved my 500 gram salt in this little quantity of water and i'm going to be sprinkling it into the pond right so i'm going to show you close up okay so sprinkle now we are done sprinkling the salt or saline solution into the water our fish are in there and this basically is going to help what prevent any form of bacteria right bacteria that might you know cause harm to them or make them to start dying so that is the essence of what doing this and remember i said that you're expected to do this every two weeks right and at most every what three weeks so it's a very good what um prophylactic or preventive medication so we're going to leave this for a minimum of one hour and after one hour I'm going to top the water you can also leave it for three hours at most okay so after one hour we're going to top it up and that is all the next time i'm going to change my water will be what tomorrow okay so they are good to go they are not going to be stressed or anything and remember salt is a very good word anti-stress so i hope you got that because i did right so in order to incorporate your salt bath into your routine because salt bath should be done you know occasionally right you can do it what every what two weeks every two weeks right that is what i do personally so every two weeks it's okay at most every three weeks you do what your salt right your salt bath so whether you are using your surface pond like plastic tarpaulin or concrete it is good or whether you are using your etting pond it is also good okay so make sure you are using salt salt will prevent you know you from using antibiotics and all those medications that you have to use when your fish falls sick you do not want our fish to fall sick in the first place and that is why we are going for what a cheaper option remember prevention is always better and cure okay so if you really enjoyed this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section let me know which of these you adopt in the comment section share it with us and smash on the subscribe button if you're yet to do that turn on your post notification bell and you know for those who would like to reach out our whatsapp number is going to be on the screen now before we go I want you to quickly watch a video on how to prevent or on how to reduce the quantity or percentage of runs in your fish farm. Remember, runs are fish that are stunted in growth, okay? So you're going to see a place somewhere around to click and make sure you watch that video right now. Bye for now.